application timeline this is important since many of you are in first year few are in final year internship year everybody's timeline changes typically what does an indian student do prepare and appear for step 1 in the third year prepare and appear for ck cs and rotation in internship year and once you have your degree you are ecfmg certified you apply for the match and during your entire mbbs 5 to 6 years you prepare for your cv or build your cv somebody was asking about the factors of cv i will be discussing it in a while typically this is the time period if you are doing parallel to medical school if you do after graduation then you will spend one year for step 1 1 year for ck cs and rotation so you will spend extra 2 years of your life before you apply but that is okay because end of the day it's a career decision you cannot rush for usmle i know of doctors whom i have personally helped at the age of 35 45 55 preparing for usmle and now they are settled in us so age is not a factor in usmle now when you have everything ready with you applications happen only once in a year in the month of september on an online portal called as eras once you apply online on eras november to january you go to america for your interview so in this process there are technically two trips cs practical rotations and interviews where you go for in us all right february is a month where you give your preference for example if i apply to 100 hospitals i got 10 interviews so i will have a preference maybe i want to work in the first option is the hospital in new york second is uh, chicago third is philadelphia so the choice i have to submit here okay march is when the results are out like this year results happened in march i will show you in a while and july onwards the pg starts so now if you understand it is a one year of a time frame after your pg after your mbbs okay which is required for you to apply so please guys understand this very correctly if i apply for the match if i do it parallel to med school i will take one extra year if i do after graduation 2 plus 1 3 years but these 3 years are worth the investment because end of the day i am on a work visa the rejection rate for work visa is less than 0.5% right all right so which visa do i have to worry about because people have been spreading rumors visa is an issue no work visa is not an issue the only visa i need to be worried about is something called as a tourist visa which is a b1 b2 tourist visa why do i require this visa because this is a 10 year multiple entry visa on which i give my cs i give my rotation and i appear for my interview and hence these exams i have to give on a tourist visa so this is the only visa you to to be worried about and if you are a student getting this is a easy because you know there is a firm reason that you will come back you don't have a degree in hand so far i hope you guys are able to on this all right so now i will again take question on this slide if somebody has so timeline for somebody does internship is extremely simple i have to do two things i will first give my step one extend my internship do my clinical rotation with step one based universities in america which are for free and while i am going for rotations give the cs examination come back to india give the ck and then apply for the match okay so one year for step 1 this is in internship year extend my internship do my rotations and cs while i am an intern and then appear ck before august that's the rule since you are late this is the adjustment you have to do because being a graduate getting the rotations is a little difficult and you shell out lot of money again i will talk much on detail about the rotations in a while suraj you are in which year of medical school all right the process looks complicated i will answer this question in a while don't worry okay final year so final year students hold on there are a lot of final year students so let me quickly describe what is the scenario now for you guys okay if you are in your final year okay i am showing you an ideal situation let me place it as an ideal situation see there are a lot of first year students also which is why i want to talk something which is general okay if i am in first year second year third year i am talking about future i am talking about the 2022 scenario third first final year internship year Like not even internship. This internship is technically the next one examination. So let's not talk about this. 
Okay, so what is happening now? The future is that those who are in first year, second year, and third first year will prepare for USMLE Step One. The logic is very simple. Why after February we had to launch a batch of 200 students is because once the next exam announcement was made, everybody has realized that even if I join a private college, even if I've paid crores of rupees to become an MBBS. I will not get a degree if I don't clear the next exam, which is a patient case based exam for which if I do the USMLE style learning, it's going to help. Me. Okay, so first, second and third year, I need to immediately prepare only for step one. If I am a final year student as of now, as of 2020 or 2021, I do nothing. Just focus on my medical school. But if I am going to be a future final year student, 2021, 2022, final year is a time when I will study for next one exam. I cannot study USMLE in the final year in both the scenarios. And then if I clear the next one is when my internship starts. After I complete my internship, I have to appear for the next two examination and then I get a license to work. During internship, I will give the CK, CS, examinations and go for clinical rotation so this is an ideal case scenario now many of you are already in final year intern year so now again you don't do anything in final year in internship year you start with step one you will take 12 months that is okay extend your internship it is okay to extend internship because when you later on apply your year of graduation is a fresh graduate if you graduate with your juniors it actually helps you because in usmle you will be considered as a fresh graduate so if you are a final year student you don't do anything this year stay put now the process looks complicated why do you think you will be in demand i told you earlier you can practice only as MBBS in India right now later on with the next exam only at an undergrad level in America you require a PG because World Health Organization guidelines they follow at a PG level so they require more PG physician they don't have that many PG physicians so there is a demand and second is a very simple math I told you I will speak on a lot of data math statistics so this is very simple for each one of you to understand. If you see the orange bar, this is the number of PG seats available in America. The yellow bar is the number of MBBS seats in America. So they have more PG seat, less MBBS seats. All right. And the gap is increasing year on year. 16,000 was the highest, which is why people getting selected is increasing. What happens in India? PG seats are 30,000, but MBBS seats are more than that. MBBS seats are around 70,000. Plus last year who did not get admission, they apply 40,000. Plus last two last year who did not get admission, they apply. Plus there are eternal optimists. Last three years, they have been trying for need PG. So in all 1.5 lakh students apply for this 30,000 out of which clinical and open category there are only 15,000 government seats so what happens is in India for a government seat for every 10 student one gets a seat and because of this huge gap in America for every two student one is getting a seat. all right so please understand this very very clearly how much do doctors earn in America minimum 1.5 crores if you are a internal medicine or a pediatric specialist and move up the ladder the salary increases top ones is plastic surgery orthopedics cardiology gastroenterology and radiology where the income is around four crores annually great so this looks interesting how do you reach there we'll come to that now before we go to that what happened in the admission cycle of 20 20 students got admission in 2020 let's understand this so in 2020 the total number of pg seats available in america were the highest 34000 in the history of nrm this is the admission body out of which the number of non us citizen imgs getting selected is broken the 30 years record now whenever it comes to usmle guys please understand this it's a spanish and italian 
scrap therapy. I don't know whether you've heard about Spanish and Italian crap story. You should actually read that and Google it because what happens is that when it comes to, as per the story, of course, it's just a story. Italian crabs, when they get stuck in a bucket of water, everybody tries to help each other to come out of it. And with the teamwork, they come out. But in case of Spanish crab, what happens is whoever tries to get out of the bucket, the other guy pulls it down. Unfortunately, that is what happens with IMGs. You know, whoever wants to dream about your family, others will say impossible, you know, not going to happen or give you some wrong information, spread rumor. A, he himself does not want to work hard. He will not make you also, you know, achieve your dream. So do not fall prey to rumors. Like last week, Donald Trump made a tweet that, you know, some changes in the immigration policy. And I got thousands of calls. You know, students are saying now US family is over. This is incorrect. Please understand this. First time when Trump came into the power back in 2015-16, again, this was the same story, same rumors spread by international students. Those who themselves didn't want to do anything. And what happened as a result? The results were exactly opposite. In fact, every year that Trump was in power, the international students who got admission increase. They said it is going to be over. But 2017, 52 percent, 18, 56, 19, 58 and 2020, 61 percent international students got admission. So for every 10 international students, six got admission. This is by far the highest ratio. OK, so be very, very careful when you are going to discuss whom are you discussing? Whom are you listening to? Speak to people who talk positive with you. All right.